Hello everybody, this is 60% Cat. We're gonna play a great game called, uh, it's FTL. Uh, I believe it stands for Faster Than Light, which apparently is not possible, but, except in this game. So, uh, oh, I guess I will continue a game. Not very far, but you know what, we're just gonna, we're gonna, Start from a, a, a square, flat, clean slate, tell ya. You know, this one was going pretty good, but I don't care. Go to the main menu. If you're not familiar with this game, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. That's all I need to know. Um, no, it's like a spaceship. Ex you could say it's exploration, maybe? Uh, more like spaceship maintenance. So you have systems, like engines, oxygen, you have little rooms, you have your little guys, and you uh, try to go through the galaxy and survive, uh, and see how far you can get. Um, you get random encounters, and interesting things happen, and different things are available to you. It's almost like Oregon Trail in space, with systems and stuff. The real fun part of the game is improvising in difficult situations and uh, choosing how to upgrade your ship as, and such. So right now I only have two ships available. This one is uber gay. Sucks. Uh, and this one's pretty good for me for now. I mean, I haven't seen very much. I've actually only been playing this game for quite a small amount of time, but quite enjoying it. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to be explaining it as though you never played. We shouldn't be too harsh on people who have already played. Right now I'm going to, in honor of Star Trek, um, I'm going to name everything to, uh, oh, I can't do dots. And not, uh, not Star Trek the original, but Star Trek the next generation. So I'm gonna have crew members Jean-Luc Picard. Oops, it's a big eye. You know, there are no captains in this game. Jean-Luc Picard. We'll have, um, we'll have a girl. So this is going to be um, Deanna Troy. And, of course, What the hell is Riker's first name? Commander Riker. I have no idea. That's hilarious. My number one. Number one. Nice. Okay, now we'll we'll head out then. The, okay, there is a storyline. I guess I wasn't that aware of that fact. The data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. See, this is like Star Trek. There's a Federation. You'll need supplies for the journey. So make sure to explore your sector before moving on to the next. But get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. Tip. Fuel. Blah, blah, blah. Who cares about tips? Okay. So one cool thing about the game is when you're in a battle is that you can choose what area to shoot. And if that becomes disabled, uh, it causes that system to fail. So you have shields, and you, you also, on your ship, you have to power your different systems. So I have my weapons here, and my missiles, and my lasers. My total amount of power is on the very far left, so I have no remaining power. If I disable some of these, you'll see some power that I can allocate to a different system. Um, engines are kind of like evasion. It's very turn-based simulate, even though it doesn't actually pause. You need oxygen to oxygenate all the... All the rooms if the room becomes less oxygenated it becomes red uh, there's a med bay to heal your characters um, shields shields in your far left and your hull is your your total health um, you collect scrap is kind of like your money and you use that to upgrade different stuff you can increase the amount of power bars you can increase these systems that don't require power sensors um, piloting doors and then these systems too, so you can actually add, like, if you add more shields, you can put more power towards the shields and and do more with that. Um, weapons, also, how many max weapons you can hold. 
There's also other systems you can install later, like cloaking, teleportation, and uh, drones. Um, uh, hold the cargo bay, and I have two weapons. Yep. It's a little summary. You have fuel, which gives you one jump, and a missiles. So basically, each system has kind of an encounter. Um, as you go further to the right, you can go to the exit, and that'll jump you to the next sector. Um, over time, on the left side, a whole fleet of the rebels come, and uh, they can wreck you pretty hard. So you want to eventually make your way to the right before they come and take you over. Um, there's limited information on the systems. Right now there's a distress. That usually means someone might need help. So sometimes those are pretty profitable, so I'm going to head towards that way. So as you make each jump, that's usually when the encounter starts. Okay, looks like an enemy ship. A small civilian ship flies over as soon as you arrive. You're prepared to fight, but they just inform you they're out of FTL fuel and can't jump. That's... This is... Oh, neutral? Huh. Oh, I'm only in the beginning. I'm gonna give them some fuel. You give them fuel. I think here's some extra scrap as payment. It's kinda worth it. Okay, nothing really happened. I would like to go to that store, but we're going to go to here. So far, my strategy, I just realized recently that if you take out their weapons right away and concentrate on the enemy weapons, then they're pretty much dis they can't do any more damage to you, so usually in the advantage. I used to just always attack the shields and evasive things. You discover a nearby planet speckled with settlements, although none respond to your hails. See, this is very much uh, Star Trek inspired. They use a lot of the terminology. Federation, uh, hails, ship engineer. Okay. Yes, breach? Breach missiles? Oh, this looks awesome. Fuck, I don't have enough. I could sell my... Would that give me enough? I'm gonna sell my current missile to get this breach missile, which sounds awesome. Also going to buy one fuel and another missile. And these are kind of cool, these augmentations, long range scanners. Cool. All right, breach missile. Oh, looks like it takes a lot of power. It'll take all my weapon power to actually do. But that's fine because this is exactly, uh, exactly what I need. Okay, see that you can see the, the, the fleet coming by over there. No point going to another store, but I do kind of want to. Oh, I'll just go down there. Okay, finally a battle. Stumble across a forward scout of the rebel fleet. They're powering their FTL. If they get away, they'll no doubt warn the fleet of your position. Okay, so I guess I should, uh... Usually I concentrate on the weapons. I just pause it right now. Um, but... So instead of trying to jump, I'm gonna take out their engines. So I use arm my breach missile to aim towards the engines. I'm gonna bring... Riker! I still can't think of his first name. It's hilarious. I'm gonna bring him to the engines. And uh, Deanna Troy's gonna hang out in the shield room. Uh, we'll sling oxygen, powering weapons, and we'll continue. And so we'll arm the weapon. It's charging up. It'll take a hot second to go. Wow, it takes a little freaking long time. The firing. Oh shit. Oh, they breached the hull. So now that, not only did they take out my oxygen um, sector, my oxygen will start decreasing, which will kill all my guys eventually. It also made a hole, which will uh, start leaking in, leaking out my current oxygen. So that's pretty critical right there. We're gonna bring Riker and Troy to go in there and try to fix that. Uh, we'll just continue to arm the missile and shoot at their engines. It's also cool as they get experience as they do stuff like repairing things. Oh damn, that was a tough part of my on the helm. Okay, knocked out their engines right there. Sweet. So we're gonna Oh, it didn't breach 
we're gonna only arm the lasers now. So missiles take missiles, which are a limited resource. Um, so now we're only gonna do the lasers. And uh, keep repairing everything. Looks like they just launched something, it's gonna hit, okay. What's interesting about missiles is that they, they go through shields. So oxygen is fixed. But now I have to fix my... Oh my gosh, my, how come everything's going so slow? Oh shit, their engines are repairing. But their, their total hull is pretty low. Oh, his engine is repaired. Okay, sweet, I disarmed him again. It's gonna need one more hit. And they'll be, uh, they'll be taken out. Okay, I'm gonna put Riker to heal in the med bay. Okay, look, looks like I took him out, but my oxygen just got knocked out, so I'm gonna have to go back to repair that. Their ship breaks apart, and you are relieved to know that you are still one step ahead of the fleet. Oh, that initial missile took so long to arm. I might use a missile on their oxygen. Okay, so I got some missiles, some fuel, and some scraps. Pretty good, pretty good spoils. Although I, my hull took a lot of damage. I gotta go back to, uh... I'm gonna send Picard to repair that, because Riker needs some more healing. And Troy will continue fixing the shields. And after that, I'll bring her into the medbay. Although there's no time constraint now. Okay. Except unless my oxygen runs out. Okay. Bring everybody in the med bay to repair or heal. I mean, everything's tinted a little bit red. That means oxygen is a little bit low everywhere. Send Picard to the helm. Troy back in the shields. Rocket to the engines. Oh man, oxygen isn't really coming back. But I almost feel like there's a bug where it doesn't. Sometimes a room is randomly not oxygenated, but I don't know why. Okay, we're gonna go to this little spot right here, see what happens. Definitely use some hull repair. Oh shit, Captain of the ship claims he can provide services as long as you've got the scrap. Oh, he's a mercenary. Delay the rebels or scout the sector. I kinda wanna fight him, although he looks kinda tough. I'll just say I have no need for services. There you go. Okay, let's get away from the fleet. You arrive near a damaged and dilapidated space station. It appears to be abandoned, but you detect faint life signatures on board. Okay, I'm gonna board the station. Human corpses are scattered across the station. You find the source of the signal, a lone survivor that locked themselves in a storage closet. You quickly retreat with them in tow back to the ship and hope they can recover be some fuse. Oh wow, I got a new crew member, Martin. He wasn't in the original series, in the Next Generation series. Martin. You just don't take Europeans on board, but we'll make an exception. Federation encrypted signal is being broadcast from a nearby planet. I'll send an away party. Look at that, an away party. Oh wow, it's a rebel. Rebel rigor. So you approach the signal, you receive a message on a rebel channel. I knew we'd catch some Federation fish with this signal. Prepare to be boarded, scum. Well, I'm merely going to destroy you for that insult. Whoa, he's got a drone. Okay. Let's determine what we want to do. So we're going to disable the power towards the med bay. To have the... Oh, this... Ooh. He's only got one shield, or it's like two shields, I think that is. Okay, we're gonna try to arm both weapons, so we'll actually remove the power from the engines. So I can arm, oh, I don't have any more total weapon power uh, to do both of them. So I can only have one weapon at a time. Which one to use? Well, I'm gonna do my initial strategy of disarming them. The laser does charge a little faster, so I'm going to use that. And then I'll recharge the 
engines. And I might as well have the med bay just in case. Oh, there's intruders! Oh shit, I didn't even see them. So they boarded my ship. Holy crap. Okay, we're gonna gather everybody. It's better to fight them all all together. So we're gonna gather everybody into the weapons bay. Let's see where they go. Oh, they're okay. They're attacking my oxygen. There's only two people that can fit in there, so we'll just send two people in there. Uh, and once one gets low health, we'll send them out. Oh, fuck. Mess up the med bay up. Oh, man. What a tough situation. Did I shoot? I didn't even see. Oh, yeah, just shot now. Okay, sweet. I disarmed their, their weapon. So. And we're gonna charge a missile and attack the shields. Or the drones. We should do the drones. Okay. So the drone will. Because they have a, a, a drone that's just shooting me right now. Okay. Oh no, my. Yeah, my med bay. Okay, we're gonna see how this combat is going. Oh, they're pretty tough. So we're gonna send Troy out to the med bay. She'll repair that and send. Picard and fight. And we'll send both of them out. Riker's going out here too. And we'll send in Martin. <laughs> so they'll repair the med bay and then once it's repaired I'll, I'll give them power. Okay, missiles charging. They should be able to take them out. Looks like they already repaired their weapons, so I'm gonna now change my target to their weapons again. Okay, go back to the med bay. I need to power the med bay. I launched the missile. Now we're gonna charge the lasers, so then I can have extra power for my for my med bay. I'm gonna put Martin to fix the engines, and yeah, we're gonna heal up a little bit. Oh, sweet. Okay, so they're there. I could take their surrender and get four missiles, a drone part, and 14 scrap. That's pretty good. I'm gonna accept that offer. I think that'll be more than if I kill them. Okay. And I kinda wanted to end the battle. Okay, sweet. So if somebody's at the helm or the wheel of the ship, they'll you gain the evasion bonus. So missiles and lasers less likely to hit you. Even though it doesn't look like we're moving, I guess we're technically moving. Riker, go back there. Martin, get in the med bay. Turn to sick bay. Surprised they didn't call it sick bay instead of med bay. Okay. Whew, that was a little intense. Okay. Everybody's healed up. Let's see what kind of experience we got. Okay, we got Martin got a little bit of fighting experience and some repair. Troy got a bunch of repair and a little bit. Okay. So now we'll jump. Okay, they're getting a little closer. We're gonna go here. See a small station fitted with hundreds of repair drones. We received an automated message. We don't know who you are and we don't care, but this is the right place for some ship repair. Nice pretty good. How much damage do I have? Okay. No refunds. Naturally. Okay. Is there any... Should I upgrade anything? I'm, sometimes I like to upgrade my sensors so I can see the enemy interior. But it's not a big deal. You know what? I'm actually going to do this. Because fires are a pain in the ass. When there's a fire that started, you can lock off oxygen places. And, uh, uh, like if you open the doors like that. Oh, does. I don't know what's. <laughs> I don't know what the hell's happening. <laughs> yeah, these blast doors are pretty useful. Okay. I almost want to upgrade my oxygen, but I don't have enough. I can increase my power, total power. I'm gonna do that. Okay. 
these will increase my weapon totals too. Although it needs to be five before I can arm both of these weapons. <clears throat> All right, let's jump. Not, I'm gonna, not gonna go to the exit quite yet. Do some exploration. We receive a transmission. Sorry, sir, there is nothing personal, but we're under orders. The rebel ship's weapons get hot. No negotiations. Okay. We'll start with the laser on the weapons. And yeah, once that blasts, then we'll do the, the, the missile. I like to do the laser first because it's quicker. Okay, shot a laser. Okay, knock out their weapons. So now we're armed with the missile. And might as well just aim for their shield. You know, I'm gonna do the oxygen. Because that'll really distract them from repairing the weapons. You know what we're gonna do? The shields. Because then it'll be easier to hit the weapons. Sweet. I don't think I breached it, but now with their shields down, it should be easy to. This one's not really causing as much trouble. Oh, they repaired their weapons already. Oh, he fired before I was able to get fire him first, but my shields took it in pretty well. Now they just need one more hit to be knocked out. Should be pretty easy. We'll just aim towards their shields just for the heck of it. Ah, oh, missed all the shots. Oh no. Shields up. Alright. Knocked out. Ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Excellent. Okay, we'll go into this nebula right here. So nebulas usually... You have trouble seeing things, even the innards of your own ship. It's hard to see why, but this beacon is apparently a tourist destination. One of the ships at the small station is offering a deal. Trade. Uh, they'll give me four fuel for three missiles. Well, overall, I think it's worth it. Okay. Ooh. I go here. Now I'll take a little risky move, just so I can get uh, some more stuff. Advanced Rebel Automated Ship remains stationed near a small Rebel space station. Sensors indicate the storage vessel for military goods. Attack! Okay, so this, this is an automated, so it doesn't have any crew on board. We won't have to use any missiles. We'll just try to take out its weapons. It doesn't even have any shields. We'll just concentrate on its weapons. Shouldn't be too hard. Oh shit, it's a big fire. But luckily, it's right, <clears throat> right at the edge right there. So I should be able to kill the oxygen and kill the fire. There you go. Close those doors. Reoxygenate. Fire phasers. Okay, see the great thing when you disarm them, they can't even hit you. It's amazing. All right. We'll salvage it. The station was either abandoned or stripped clean. It seems to have laid, lain unused for some time. You find nothing useful. Oh, useless. Okay, we're right in the warning zone. Well, if there's an exit, usually there's no encounters on the exit. But we'll see. The long range beacon is almost hidden within a nebula. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. Okay, next. Oh, there's a distress over there. I'm gonna take a risky route. Follow distress. 
You arrive at the distress beacon near a small asteroid belt and find a ship with private markings partially crushed between two large rocks. Must have been illegally mining the belt without power equipment. Hmm. I'll try to dislodge the ship. You fire a few volleys at the rock and it starts to shudder and break apart. Without shields, the pirate ship takes a blast beating but eventually pulls free. They thank you for your assistance. Give me a few little tings. Nice. Okay, sh should be able to get to the exit without encountering the fleet. Oh shit. This guy's a heavy, heavy hitter. Rebels got here first. You must survive long enough to jump to the next sector. Okay. Whew. It's gonna be tough. He's got a lot of shields, so I don't know if my lasers are gonna get through, so we're gonna equip the missile and try to disarm him. They don't have any teleporters, so they can't board me. We'll just try to hold, hold our own. to charge the FTL engine, which is going to take a while. We took a hit in the med bay. I took a hit in the sensors. Sending Troy to the sensors. Oh, they can fire a lot before me. Okay, firing a missile on them. Yes, disarm their missiles. More time to charge. Sensors back online. Okay. Great. Taking out their weapons was a great idea. Okay, one of their weapons is back online. Missiles reloading. Soon we'll have FTL. We're gonna f oh, it already fired. Oh shit, it missed. We can jump. Let's jump. Okay. Phew, that was close. Well, it looks like a lot of hostile sectors. So we'll go to the Mantis. Er, I like Mantises. <laughs> so we'll go fight them. You've entered a poorly charted area of space that's known to be home to the Mantis. I'm sure your hull plating's up to scratch, and you have enough fuel in the tank to make it through. Well, I have like 75% hull. Oh, there's a store. Yes, I can totally use one. Although it's usually limited what they have at stores. Certain about what you'll discover this beacon, you scan the surroundings. You detect several warnings on wide based channels discouraging any violence in protected trade space. Perhaps you can find some wares nearby. Ooh, oh, heavy laser? Wish I could get that. I mean, I could sell this laser. Burst laser mark two? Heavy lasers? Only requires one power. Nine seconds. One shot, two damage. This is three shots, but one damage. It takes less. It's not really worth doing. We'll buy some. F oh, we can fix our hull, which will fix all of it. Buy some fuel. By a missile. That should do it. Uh, be nice to upgrade our shields much higher, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Yeah, I don't think there's any upgrades that's gonna happen. Okay, we'll just try to head towards the exit or whatever. We are just in time to see an unusually well armed NG ship destroying a small pirate craft. Teleporter signal is detected. Untruder on deck! A young mantis in a charred uniform has teleported onto the deck. He begs for sanctuary from the Engi and offers to serve in exchange for your protection. The Engi have already traced the teleporter signal and are offering a deal in exchange for the prisoner. Ooh. Yeah, I want to have a mantis on my ship. The pursuing ship responds with a completely unintelligible message. The young mantis jerks to attention and assumes a battle stance. It was a trap! Oh, fuck. The mantis... Wait, was a mantis? Oh, mantis is hostile. Well, you little bitch. Okay, we'll, we'll stop him right there. But we're gonna keep one on the helm to uh, make sure to dodge bullets, launch a missile at their weapons.
What was that beep? Okay, we're gonna send Riker to the med bay and assume some positions. Okay. Oh, the missile just did did nothing. Now we're gonna charge a laser instead. We're gonna save some of my missiles. Attack their weapons. Do they even have? They just have an ion weapon. Oh, and they have a laser. There we go. Took out their weapons. We'll just keep firing on that so it never gets repaired. Yes, that's exactly what we need to do. Alright, he only has one health left. Oh, he repaired his, one of his weapons. One more hit is all I need. Yes, buddy. Man, I wanted a mantis on board. Ship explodes, leaving a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Excellent. Ooh. It'd be interesting to do really well, to do really good engines. Hmm. I'm gonna go for that strat. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of turn-based strategy involved, which I like. I like a lot. It becomes very familiar, and you can... As you arrive in the system, you are hailed by a loyalist settlement. Upon learning of your quest, they offer you supplies. Ooh, nice. Free supplies. Take that. Thank you very much. Okay. We'll trace the northern part here. You spot a small rebel ship nearby. It seems to have been refitted for transport rather than combat. It does not seem to want to engage you in your ship. Demand to surrender their goods. You prepare to secure the cargo by force. They look like they don't want to fight. They're trying to escape. Okay, we'll take the laser to their engines. Damn it. Keep firing upon the engines. All right. Just keep shooting the engines. Perhaps the extra evasion has helped. Yes. Disable the engines completely. Doesn't seem like they have enough firepower to get through my shields. Ah! Oh, they jumped! I remember when I was hitting them. You bastards! We're gonna trace the northeastern quadrant. You're greeted by a rare sight. A magic ship that appears not to have noticed you. I'll attack! Okay. Looks like he's got an ion and a laser. Take out the weapons. Actually, yeah, we'll use... Yeah, the laser should be able to get through the shields. Right. I wonder if two people at the helm helps at all. No, not really. Let's go back. Okay, he took out some weapon. Is that a heavy laser? Okay, sweet. I'm gonna charge a missile. Oh, I need to decrease power somewhere. There's a missile on there. Weapons. Ooh. That should also kill some of the people who are repairing it. Perhaps. Huh. All their weapons back online.
Oh yeah, I took him out. Yeah, buddy. Okay, nice. Two missiles and some fuel. Okay, we're gonna upgrade the shields. Yes. Probably need more power. To effectively utilize everything. So we're gonna keep getting experience points in a way. Here, grating rattle and soft cooking, you reach your gun. Your pistol. Oh shit, four Manti in here? Good god. I can maybe do a weird thing. I can maybe shoot my ship to try to kill them. Okay, this is gonna be a weird endeavor. Charge the missile. Oh, they're trying to get through the blast doors. Oh, they're separated, so. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna do that missile thing anymore. We're just gonna wait in here. Better just attack them now. Okay, it's all one-on-ones. The missile fully charges, I can... Okay, I'm gonna move from there. The med bay. Charge the med bay. Okay, shoot this part of the ship. Oh, I can't, I can't shoot my own ship. Fuck. Can this shoot my own ship? No, fuck. Well, forget that. Okay, we're gonna reheal everybody real quick. It's okay if they knock out some systems. Oh, cool, they're fighting in the med bay. So I'm being healed while fighting them. They got no chance. Little assholes, man. But without a ship, they're pretty useless, really. Uh-oh. It's a pretty good spot to, to take out. Whew. Took those guys out. Took a little bit of internal systems damage, but nothing that can't be repaired. So really nothing bad at all happened. It was just, it's just a hullabaloo. I just got experience points. Some fighting. Some repairing. Bring Picard and Riker to the to the bridge where they belong. Martin in the engine room. Engineering. Once we repair those shields, we'll jump. Did quite a quite a deal of damage on that. Troy's getting some invaluable repair experience. This game is awesome. Alright. So we got some time before the Brigade comes, so we'll do some more exploring. Okay, a drone ship, but this one's a more powerful one. Find a rebel automated scout floating near the beacon. Despite its pristine condition, it appears to be deactivated. I attempted to download the ship's data stores. You accidentally reactivate the ship's AI, its weapons and shields go online. Prepare for a fight! That's fine. Oh, it's got an attack drone. Okay. Power up some shields to double level, uh, and our laser. We'll just it has weapons, right? 
we're gonna charge my missile. Kill off this drone first. Maybe it's better to take out the weapons than the drone. The drone is only minimal damage. Well, he did quite some work on my shields. An ion blast that does some weird, like, disables things. Oh, yeah, took out those weapon systems. So now we're gonna activate the lasers, attack the drone. More power towards the engines for evasive. Shouldn't have any problems with that drone. Actually, we'll shoot more on the on the engine or the weapons. Make sure those weapons are deactivated. have my FTL charge, but no point jumping when I, this guy's only got one health left and no weapons. See you later, punk. Forget about it. Ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useful scrap material. Two fuel, one missile, 25 scrap. Right, we're gonna buy some more power. Charge up my engines. Is there a drone just floating around, huh? Okay, go to some um, unexplored territory. Oh, it's by a sun. Oh, shit. Who knows why the mantis would venture so close to the sun? Perhaps it makes us more of a challenge. Yeah, you should. Suns are pretty brutal. They'll just do solar flares and start fires everywhere. So, hopefully, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what hopefully. Just pull out of power towards my shields. Arm a missile. We'll take out their weapons, as usual. Oh man, that means solar flare is going to hit. Alright, fire. Shouldn't be too bad. Okay. Do you have activated the weapons? We should be able to kill them pretty quickly. Alright, the fire's out. Not too bad of damage. Great. Oh, I don't want to charge another missile. Oh well. Another solar flare. Oh no. Okay, it's in the same sector. So shit, already deoxygenated. Oh no, we don't want to kill any person. Oh, it took him out, nice. And her FTL is charged. Oh, we got some scrap, some fuel and stuff. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. Ooh, store. Very nice. The rebels are already here. The crew braces for impact, but none comes. The sensors report the unmanned rebel supply ship is malfunctioning and is stuck in vending mode. For a little scrap, you can take your pick. What? Ooh, hull beam? What the heck? Well, don't really have anything to sell. I don't have that much money, so I'm just going to repair my ship. Buy a couple missiles there. And we'll continue in the next episode.